Welcome back to Factorio, folks. We are joined again by ST Hedgehog because... Hello, hello. We are now ready to record again after I screwed up and deleted my recordings. Ah, uh, but you left some information for people anyway. Yes. They, they know what's going on, so that's awesome. Yeah. And... Uh, just to show you guys... Uh, what I did in the recordings that I deleted. I will quickly take a rundown here because I didn't show you that in in the uh, ones I did by myself because I figured it would be nice to have it on your videos as well. Yep. I'm, uh, I'm watching you. You look like you built some so down here, assembly yes, I built some assembling machines and uh, these are for making the, um, the things, the, those, those things, the, uh, the uh, electric, electric furnaces. furnaces. Yes. And so in the ones that I was on my own, just so you know that as well, in case you didn't watch them. Or, uh, which I guess you didn't. Uh, then up at the stone where you uh, had uh, walls being made, I have set up some extra furnaces making just stone brick and loading them onto a train because we needed those for the stone, uh, for the electric furnaces. So yeah, that's basically what's happened. Awesome. And I need to find the train that I set up for this. There it is. And you can... So uh, I did something off camera as well. What did you do? Um, so the green circuits. Uh, I tore down everything that was there because it was not expandable in any way, shape or form. Okay. This just isn't going to work. So I throw it all down and I built something that's a bit more expandable Ooh. and a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. But, um, but yeah. So essentially, this, this here where I'm stood, where I've got the, uh, the 12, 24 circuits being, uh, green circuits being made. Yeah. You just copy and paste this over and over and over and uh, it just, it will just work. It will just, it will just go. It's, it's exactly the same design as the red circuit one. Okay. Just obviously with different material. So cool. Not the most efficient because I'm actually putting the copper cable on dual lines. I it, just because I copied and pasted it, and it works. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave. It. But what I need to do is I need to set up a uh, an output uh, an output for it. Yeah. But I wanted to do it because we need eight belts of copper cables, don't we? At at least. At least eight belts. Yep. And I can go up and off here pretty far and not really worry about any biters or anything. Mm -hmm. We're okay. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to expand this out. Cool, cool. Um, and then what else I was going to do was uh, the copper cable we're making. Mm -hmm. Um I don't know if that's going to keep up with what it is at the moment. If it doesn't, then I'll probably look at that and I might just expand that out off this same central rail. Okay. So, uh, but I don't know yet. I don't know. So. I have a question. Oh, yep. Uh, you were crossing the tracks with the output well, outbound line. Why don't you just have it going south instead and merge up with, with the track? Uh going to the right that was that was a temporary thing just to get the trains ah in. okay that makes sense. just to to get it working so um okay uh that's, that's not the the obviously it's going to go basically to the top it's going to be a roundabout at the top okay cool. Uh, kind of the original idea for it so but yeah it was it just crossed over because I, I i put the stuff in and then trains started turning up dropping things off oh well they need to leave and go somewhere now so yeah makes sense oh i need to do something about that uh right there. And our stone bricks are being picked up. 
So soon we will be producing our uh, electric furnaces. Okay. So. Oops, I oh, because you need you needed that space to Okay, this is gonna be way more resources than I currently So over here is where I wanna build it. And for that I'm gonna need way more rails than I have. That's okay. And let's get the rubble. Find the. Alright, let's quickly make a couple of wooden chests. Stick some wood in there. And. Shoot it to bits. How could you? Well, it's easy, just hitting C. that hard you murderer yep all those poor innocent trees it's amazing all right Robert, come come back recharge we'll go and do what we do probably need you to make some Splitter thingies. Okay. Uh, these are gonna have to go out, be balanced. Ooh, I need grenades too. So I was thinking that I'd build the productivity modules that we need down here. That's a rough way. Same track, okay? I can place down belts from, mm -hmm. you know, this far away. Place down belts from either that far away. But I cannot chop that tree down from this far away. No. I can place down belts. I can pick them up from a distance. I can do that, but I can't chop that tree down. You've got to be basically stood right next to it to chop it down. Yes, really? you do. It's really weird. Really? It's a, it's a short-handed axe. Or short-handled axe, I should say. Well, I'm clearly obviously throwing the belts on the floor and they're just landing where I need to go. So I can't just throw the axe at the tree and it'll land where I want it to be. That would be nice. But no. No. But no. <laughs> However, something I did uh, that I did also do off camera, um, which some people, well, the trees are back now because obviously you, you pay the ground, but they're a lot thinner here than they used to be. Uh, Flamethrowers. Flamethrowers are nice. Flamethrowers, when you have this density of trees, is dangerous because I had to replace a lot of train tracks. Yeah. And a whole train. Um, because it caught fire. I only caught the train on fire. I didn't catch any of the carriages on fire. So. Okay. Um. Uh. But yeah, that was a, a thing that happened. So. Um. <laughs> Flamethrowers are very, uh, very dangerous. So um. So yeah. So if you want to burn the trees down and they're very, very dense, just set fire to them and watch. <laughs> and yeah. it will burn. I. I was like. Hang on, it's going to go and start burning the biters in a minute. This is a problem, but no, it went out before that. Okay. And uh, they grow back, they don't grow back as densely, which is pretty good, so you can run in between them. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Where are we making grenades? I do not know. There's a grenade drop-off there. 
<clears throat> I want to balance. Probably turn this. And get this thing. Let's get some stuffs. Eight by eight, I would say. Can go in there. Eight, yeah, eight by eight. Bum ba dum ba dum. Bum ba dum ba Eight. Oh, I have the hiccups. I'm really sorry. Um, That's annoying. Well, <laughs> for you, I didn't mean it's annoying to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> So that was that. Not that it needs that cap. Grenades. There are no Hatch. grenades. Why are there no grenades? Uh, because um, trees went in and uh, took them all away. Sounds plausible. Because they know. Yeah. Where? They know they are where. So, did. Where the heck are we making grenades, man? Yeah. Guns, advanced circuits. Sorry. And this down here I should mark as well or label as well. It's military science. I still haven't been doing that. Grenade pickup there. Hopefully you get some grenades. Unfortunately there is no radar there. Uh, it's loading. Good. You have enough now for me, so you can come over here. Bing. And then we can go out here. Turn that on. Don't do your thing. Red icon military. Grenade. Confirm. There. Nope. 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 Damn it. I'm back! And... Here comes a train, and it has grenades, yay! Five hundred grenades should do. circuits i don't suppose we have electronic circuits on a train somewhere yet we don't um okay never mind maybe the the electric circuit train might have some on it but we don't have any uh the train isn't right no so you come out here We basically just need two drop offs. We'll do 
Let's go drop off and pick up. What are you hailing at? Right? So uh, we need long arm inserters. As I say, what, 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 what is it complaining about that I don't have? Um, <laughs> mm. Stuffs, lots of stuff. So long hand inserters. Whatever. Let, them, let the bots just catch up, do their thing, whatever they do. It's... Okay. Let's do this. So, I need... Let's just blueprint this book. I want the real blueprint book. One sided. Rail drop belts and back. That one. Okay. Okay. Do this. Same there, just one. No, that wasn't. No. No. That was completely wrong. Reconstruct. What? A one sided rail drop belts forward. Not that one. There we go. I actually want a, a couple of times, dang it. Uh, one side of green drop belts forward. So we'll have one there. Okay. And I want a pickup. One side of real Pick up that's from front bottom. Hey, okay. eh, whatever. <coughs> right, um. There. I should do. I do want. Crack, crack. So much more. Hmm. Do I really want to do it like this? Need to that. I'm actually thinking that it would be what? better having it go this way and have the. Let's go this way. Yeah, it would. Let's deconstruct all that again. Don't worry, bots. I will give you a helping hand. Ah. Uh. This out. So I've got to be off by one. No. Okay. No. So we'll put that there. No, we won't. We won't. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Gotta put a train track in first before I can put in the, uh... 
the... It's strange. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, makes sense. I, thought, cause I, I put in a pickup station, then you try and put the track in, the track's like, nope, nope, I am one square off. Oh. Because I, I use a double grid and everything else uses a single grid because that's the way we designed this game. Yep. You awkward little... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. There. Okay. I think I got everything. I not not quite. Come on. Get in there. Thank you. Right, so let's just do a bit of the maintenance here. So, and just oh, why must you always get the power so bad? <laughs> Why? Uh, I'll put them down the random X pattern and then do this and then do that. Why? Why? Stop it. <laughs> uh, they just cross <laughs> weirdly. We can shrink down. Right. So we have a. It would have still worked with a pink cat. Um, I want to see. Calculator. I want production science. I okay. want that one. Uh, that one. And I want. Oh, a thousand a minute. Okay, that is three hundred and thirty three productivity modules. What? A minute. So let's just <clears throat> three hundred and thirty four. That is seventy machines. 70 assemblers that we need and that's basically oh what the hell two lines All right Two lines of green circuits we need. So, so and it was sixty-seven. If we just say sixty-eight, that would be thirty-four. That would be okay. So we can easily fit four lines of 70 down here. So that's fine. All right. Cool. This one needs to be green. One side of rail. Well, else. Can I, we have. Back. Oh, pick up. Spell like that. There we go. Pick up. forward something like that Two, 
So that's the crops. I think I'm not trying about. Which is not ideal. I don't really see any other way of doing it. Okay. This is all being built, kinda. And a lot more chests. That's okay. And a lot more inserters. Oh, good. <laughs> I don't need. Uh, I don't need a roundabout. I don't need a roundabout. I don't know what I'm doing. With. <laughs> this one doesn't need a roundabout either. Certainly. Okay, and we don't actually need. Four lines. We in fact just need one. Well two. Two lines we need. So what we'll do Chest for the stuff, Puck, so I need to grab those bits and pieces. Okay. So this train is going to be not dank monkey, but uh, green circuit drop off. This one is going to be not back and or, but a vent circuit drop off. Okay. And we need Chests for the iron plates here, because they were from there. Do that. Fine. Mm. Now, for this one... Let's just do that. Now, lucky little drones do that. We can do... A one-sided rail pickup. From back. And we can stick you in there. And one there. One there. Here we can pick this up. 
That would be awesome. Actually, and uh, we will have to come back next episode because we're out of time again. Time has run out on us. Yep. It's always doing that. It is. What's doing that? It is. Damn you, time. Yep. Have you no conscience? <clears throat> why why can we not jam three hours worth of stuff into half an hour? Yeah, that would be so nice. Well, I suppose we could. You know, you could you could we could, we could always just record three hours and then just speed up the uh uh the footage and then just get everyone to watch it at half speed. That would, would That's it? true. That's true. I wonder if there are videos that do that on YouTube. I wonder if there are people that do that, you know. Yeah. Squeeze a heart. Yeah, here we go. Here, here's the uh, information burst. Here's a. Uh, 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 well, the slowest you can play is 0.25, isn't it? So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know whether that would work or not. That'd be really weird. It would. The compression would be very strange, but. but yeah. But you probably. I don't know. There probably are some people who do that. I, I, I remember when YouTube first released its. Um, uh, it's 360 things you could do. You could make 360 movies. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, people were being really, really sneaky and they were putting like uh, an hour and a half static noise video up um, and calling it like ASMR or some of that. And if you rotated the whole screen 360 degrees, there was a movie in the background that was playing. Oh. So, um, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Which uh, obviously YouTube didn't like and managed to fix very quickly, but it was quite funny that people are genius of finding ways around stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm always impressed by. It. it is quite impressive, actually. The the way people the ways people find to do things that they're not supposed to be doing. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. So yeah. Anyway, shall we call it? Yes. Yes, I think we should. Yep. I think I've messed this up. All right. So thank you very much for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have fun.